Oh, you want to learn how to do some sock cloth physics? I got you, babe. Just stay still. There is two ways on how to go about this. The easy way and the hard way. So we're going to start with the easy way, which you will need Marvelous Designer and Blender. While in the hard way, you would only need Blender, where you would make the mesh in Blender. Add physics and collisions in Blender. Well, on the other hand, the easy way is just you do in Marvelous Designer and then import the Alembic into Blender. Now, let's begin. <laughs> that is Oscar in my background. Anyway, I've opened the Sims 4 Reaper right now. And I am going to find my save file, which is the, the first one, the first save file. It's going to be under Sims 4 saves. That's where you're going to do when you download the Sims 4 Reaper. Find the sim that you want, open the sim, and export as DAE. Make sure to choose whether different mixtures, textures, whether meshes or a single mesh. A single mesh will be like the entire sim is uniform. Different meshes is like you are able to change the materials if you wanna. Now to open your Collider file, import, you'll see Collider DAE. So now this is your sim imported. Select the rig and delete it because you don't need the rig. It doesn't have any animation. This is what the Sims 4, uh, now I'm changing from edit mode to, because if you select, you have to go to pause mode. Delete the rig. And now I need to import the rig that has a dance animation, which you will go to Sims 4 Studio and export an animation. For those of you who don't know, you can search this on the internet. I do not have the video. It's lost. So now I'm appending. I'm appending a rig. So it's file append and then find the the blender file that you save from the sims 4 studio and go to object you will find rig and append it as you can see the dots right there those are the rigs and because my sim is in you know not separate meshes it's the single uniform mesh i'm going to simply select the mesh right now i'm just showing you go to the wrench yeah see i still have issues navigating yeah okay select the mesh find the wrench and then go there and make it rig right there as you can see right there see now she dances with the animation and she came here without any animation now that's our girl but unfortunately though she starts half start position is not um the default position and we want uh the default position which is the one that you saw before where her hands are literally apart as well as her feet so that we can be able to actually make clothing stick to her first and then she can dance with the clothing so now i'm in animation okay the keyframes end there for something i do not see because i am voicing over but you can see right there 447 yeah so let's add 10 more keyframes 457 and see right there so we need to select all the keyframes go to pose mode click a make sure everything is yellow now if you're not sure about that click a a twice and nothing will be selected and then click a again and everything will be selected and then g yeah so i am basically just you know making it bigger so that i can know yeah g and uh, just drag it to the end Mm -hmm. right there as you can see yay okay now when you go to the first frame there is literally nothing in the first frame so in this first frame we're going to with every bone selected as you can see every bone is literally blue uh, alt r yes and just like that she goes to the default position because we need the clothes to match her first and then dance with her okay I love this. This is fun. What, what am I doing? Wait. Oh, yeah. I forgot to turn on the automatic keyframe. Right there. You see that thing? Yeah, that dot. It has to be blue. Down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alt R. And automatically keyframes form. And now she goes to the initial position from frame 10. Yay. Okay, now that you have the default position, let's take this baby out. But first, as you can see, there is a lot of clipping. So I'm deleting everything surrounding her. If there is a bag, or there's a chair, anything that will get in the way of a big gown or something that you want to do, delete it. Because trust me, even if you select the Sims rig and the other thing and like export it to Marvelous Designer, which I will teach you shortly how to export, those things will also go with her and they're going to be a menace. Okay, so now I'm showing you guys that this body is perfect. 
What am I doing? Okay, yes, let's go. Mm. When we press play, we will see that there is clipping. I am trying to show you. What? Yeah, I'm going to save it first. This is why. So I'm saving it first. With her like this, because what we're going to do to her will be a crime against humanity. I'm not even lying to you. We're going to cut her into pieces. I shouldn't have said this in a YouTube video, but uh, it's the truth. Okay. Now let's go to animation and I'm going to show you the clipping right there. See now right here, as you can see, this uh, the hands are clipping through the mesh, sometimes even the feet, which is why I never work with trousers. And I know I am a pervert, so most of the times I usually work with just skirts. I love seeing them fly. So we're going to cut off her hands. So in edit mode, you know, right there, yeah? Go to edit mode. Now, select wireframe. You're in edit mode, right? I am moving everything so that you can see my workspace clearly. Wireframe is that right there. The zero up there. And now I'm just control, like I'm pressing down and just selecting it and deleting faces. Because the faces are the ones which will interact with the skirt or anything that you make your seam dance around with. If you do not delete these things that intersect, they will fuck up your whole entire alembic and physics. Trust me. If you do not delete these faces, in edit mode, as you can see, now I'm going back to object mode. They will interfere with your dress. They will be poking your dress, making it going up. It's just so sad. Okay, now she's dancing. And before exporting, we have to make sure that the video is 30 frames per second. Like your whole scene is 30 frames. Right there, I think 24. 30 frames per second. Do you hear that? 30. I am very serious. Okay. 30 frames. Now we select her and her rig. I'm still trying to show you that it should be 30. This has worked. This, this has fucked me up before. <laughs> so select the rig. Make sure that all the keyframes have been selected. So you have to go to pose mode. A. Make sure all of them have been selected. Object mode. Shift select. Like press down on shift. And then simply select the mesh. So I'm deleting the lamp because I don't need that. Shift and select your mesh. Okay. File. Export. Alembic ABC. Now, here's what you're going to notice, huh? Even if you were just like, oh, I just selected two things and like there's a ball around and maybe like there's another seam within your seam or something, that shit will go out with her. It is literally going to go out with her in Marvelous Designer. Now, let's go to Marvelous Designer. Now, you have your Alembic. Don't save because I don't need a decapitated seam. So we opened Marvelous Designer and right now I'm showing off my gallery of garments which I made myself and I kind of saved them so I can add them into any project. Of course, yes, I will teach you how to do this, how to make a whole dress or whatever in like, you know, like from the beginning without you just actually having to import. But for the sake of this tutorial, because I need it to be so fast, I need to actually import a previous dress that i made and saved i will teach you how to make and actually save but let me just do this for the sake of this tutorial right now and then i will teach you how to do the dress later so we want physics right so i'm going to import the abc that i just saved previously yeah make sure that it says that 30 frames per second now you understand right now this is our decapitated baby okay and when we go from simulation up there to animation. Okay, by the way, I didn't pay for Marvelous Designer. So I think I'll link you down to a video where you can get this version of Marvelous Designer 9. So as you can see, she's dancing, right? 
she is just dancing now this is the fun part okay oh yeah and i was also showing you that her feet are actually clipping this is why i don't fucking work with trousers or you know those things that because i don't have the time you know time is money you don't really have the time to fix things and just to make them look pretty because the seams doesn't have physics now if they did have physics everything would change so now i am going to file no no no. i'm going to find a project that i would like address and i pick the yellow one so i'm going to right click on it this is the dress how it looks like work add to workspace and suddenly it's added yeah just like that how easy is that i'm gonna show you how to do this and how to save like a bunch of dresses and clothings that you can have and for the ones that i already have they'll be given to i will be giving them to my sugar students tier yeah so that they can be able to have this i don't even know how to give them but uh -huh, i will find a way so i am running the simulation right now and fixing the hands not the hands the thing is those things that i'm dragging what are their names see i fixed the right one shoulders um sleeves oh yes sleeves such a distinguished lady okay we have the sleeves and the dress looks fabulous now here's where you can add your own stuff if you want you can even remove the skirt make it just a tiny shirt by removing the skirt you can you know i will teach you it's okay so i want to change the color i selected the fabric and i'm going to change it to blue because i am not a yellow person i love blue blue makes me happy turquoise yeah you know we need fancy colors so that we can show to everyone that we are the sugar baby tear you know by the way i am the sugar mama welcome so our dress is right there so we're going to go to pins as you can see that's the right part up there pins yeah one two three the fourth yeah fourth right after the simulation arrow there is like one two and then the pins right there so pins is where you can attach any clothing part to to your seam or mesh so that in case so i've selected the upper part and i'm going to right click where that is selected and then attach all pins to avatar this will help me when she's dancing and one of the sl sleeves just feels like you know what we want to slide over so that your boob can have a whole situation of a nip slip that has happened before and when you add the pins basically the top part just stays stuck and you can do this with the sleeves only you can do this with only the boob part area it depends on how you feel like it mm -hmm. just drag and drop and attach all pins so i changed from simulation to animation and now i'm going to select the camera as you can see i haven't selected the camera and the quality is complete the simulation quality should be complete and if you select the camera it starts baking if you press play the dress will remain in the same position so i'm going to go back to the first position and i'm going to select the camera if you press the camera it starts baking the simulation it is going to take eight minutes right now that's what he's showing so let's wait and she is done baking honey as you can see from the bottom it says from frame one to four fifty seven that is how you know that everything is correctly so you see when i go back to the first and i press play she's running with the dress she is dancing like the little princess that she is work at work for mama shake that ass booty popping Woo! this is this is this is what i live for right here no i don't care if you call me a pervert but hey it's a cute skirt so it's short but it's cute and you know yeah so i'm going to go back to the first frame remember to always go back to the first default frame otherwise you're fucked up select everything file at the pattern file the dress export alembic ogawa and name it something else from marvelous designer whatever it is that you're going to name it don't question my handwriting or not handwriting it's my spelling i suck at english uh. okay there we go make sure that it says thick um and check avatar fuck that you get like a huge giant avatar in blender 
okay and export those are the settings that i have you can also replay this whole video and make sure that everything is perfect i'm gonna teach you how to make those stuff and have your own default dresses that you can just import in and just <sighs> have fun with them and how to switch them up and just this is me exporting it takes time it's taking the entire alembic you know like basically a bunch of vertices in different positions uh, just like that we got physics this is so freaking easy <laughs> the hard part is if you want to be so perfect and you're just like i need to make sure the feet don't touch each other i want to give her a sweater no not with my animations well you can always adjust the keyframes if you want but uh, you would have to have a knowledge of animating other than that this is why i usually work with just dresses and skirts something pervy yet awesome oscar Okay, he just left to go somewhere else. Anyway, where were we? Yes. And finally exported. Woohoo! What? Why am I so stuck here? Okay, so we don't need any files. So X. We don't need to save this because the dress is already saved. Ooh. And my blender already shows the recent files. So all I have to do is just select that and it will open. So our girl undecapitated is right there so file import alembic abc and find your alembic file now i know you will say "Ooh, i'm done with the tutorial no you're not yet done just sit your ass down so import it mm -hmm. and that is the dress and when we press play shit's about to happen no i'm going to intentionally leave it at 24 frames per second see right there it's at 24 frames per when i press play yeah that happens and guess what even if like your frames like the dress is in another frame and your animation is another frame you would have to change your animation frames which would be so fucking weird so i'm changing to 30 frames per second now you understand why the frames are really important here be consistent consistent t yes t with a t not c hmm. or is it cy god so weird okay see we have physics no make a but twerk the twerk to twerk i haven't gotten to the point where i can actually add butt physics and make a like butt physics and dress physics so i'll go there at one point okay so i'm going to select the cloth parents which just came that is the dress and go to the wrench shift select faces it's going to be unselected now see that the difference yeah yeah the normals are fucked up you don't need to know this just make sure that the faces is not checked yeah make sure it's gray and just like that why am i doing this <laughs> and just like that you have physics babe and now i'm just changing my textures my mom is screaming <laughs> in the other room and i'm making the dress blue turquoise because we are fancy people over here i mean if you have a sugar mama you need to bask in fanciness only f you know colors that have fabulous words to them anyway so there we go now if this was a trouser the way she her feet are you would be fucked up in every which way trust me the way the feet keep grinding on each other the trouser would be like rubber bands that oh, so sad so sad unless you can actually edit it so right now i'm removing the weird blocky eyelashes so shift a i went to that place shift a and transparent bsdf shift a mix shader to this day i don't know where they are i just usually search them and they appear so i will never know and i don't care to know why because i am not a nerd person so, this is okay if you're going to run in cycles, but I'm in EV because cycles is, whoa, too many, too many hours. So, go to the place and make it to alpha clipped or alpha hash, whichever you like. I think alpha clip is way cuter. This is on the size of properties. Ooh, and just like that, baby. You got your girl and now you can add hair physics if you wanna from my previous video where you learned how to do hair physics or you can just stay with your fancy dress and guess what this is me trying to adjust to find the perfect um 
the perfect thumbnail you will see this so yeah and just like that babies you have physics now you can render from frame 10 remember to not start from frame one F start from frame 10 to 457 have a great day and stay adorable yes i'm going to be teaching you how to do the marvelous designer thingy and how to do the actual physics in blender but that is so hard but it's okay at least i have something out so next time you're going to learn how to navigate marvelous designer and what to do with marvelous designer and then you're going to learn how to actually use blender as marvelous designer which is way harder because you don't work with any it's just blender is so hard but that's okay we're going to find a way on how to make it work for us and make it actually have physics which are way better by the way did you know that in marvelous designer you can actually add wind so yeah you can make the clothes like fly and you could to this day i don't know how to like go with the you know environment properties of marvelous designer i don't even know how to change that apparently be because there's a way on how to make your clothes lighter stretchier and i don't know that so haha <laughs> yay you got everything that you needed and now it is time for you to go on forth and learn more i will be back with another tutorial bye i love you guys and stay adorable the next tutorial will be for just blender and how to navigate marvelous designer two in one so <laughs> bye stay adorable and don't find a sugar daddy <laughs>